Hello guys, it's me again, again, Sasha, and you are watching Sasha Things, thanks for that. I know I've been gone for a few weeks and I will explain myself for a bit later on in this video, but um, I'm back again and we are going to make a video about a summer natural makeup look. So I start now and let's put some makeup on this face. Alrighty then, I already put some primer on my face so we can hurry up a bit and I let it dry for like 10 minutes so it's sticky and you can touch your skin and feel if you think it's sticky and then you can put on your makeup. So normally I have a full makeup look on my face so if you want to see how I do this you can see the link and you can watch the video. So today I'm going to do it a little bit different. So here we go. For this look, for this look, I need a mirror. So again, for this look, I need a mirror and I don't use my beauty blender. Okay. Instead of that, I'm going to use a fluffy synthetic brush and a smaller one and the hair is going to go away. So again, two fluffy brushes, soft and synthetic. So first of all, I'm going to start off with a light concealer, in this case from Patrice. I put it in the inner corner of my eye and a little bit there, underneath the outer corner. You do not want to work too much. I always do a little bit extra because I like to have a bit extra coverage that way. Then we're going to go in with the same color just above the middle of the eyebrow. The eyebrow again, the brow and just the tip of the point, tip of the point of your chin. I almost forgot it. I always like to use a color corrector. for a little bit color correcting. So it's important to use a color corrector for this, a red one. And I like to tap it in a bit with my finger. And I'm not going to explain myself every time when I do this, so I also make a video about a routine that I checked my whole face and I explained this why I do this there so just watch my videos and you will find it. I will go in with my small fluffy synthetic brush and I will tap in the light color and you do want to make sure that you also uh, blend it out like you use a brush because I like to tap it in but that's only the reason for that is that I always use a beauty blender so that's the reason I always start tapping immediately so I use the belly of the brush to tap it in the skin then I like to work it up around my chin And of course, underneath the eye, and you not be afraid, and you not be afraid, <laughs> <coughs> and not be afraid to draw, draw, pull the brush over your face, and then I like again to tap it in the corner of my eye down. And then we blend it out. You see? I flip the other, other side. Okay, color two. Color two. It's a contour color. And it's a um, high coverage concealer also. With a slightly browner tint. I put it on top of my hairline. 
I put it here for my jaw, jawline, not my jawline, I don't know anymore how you call it, I have a bang, nothing in my head again anymore. You put it from the upper side of your ear, down, underneath your cheekbone, and I'm going to use it here on my jaw to make it softer. Then I use my bigger brush, after I drop it on the floor, and we go in, and you want to blend it out up in the hairline, not down. So you blend it up. Then you go at the cheekbone, you do not want to move the brown line, you just want to blend it in, so just keep the line on the same spot, you see, so don't go around like this, just tap it in, just tap it in and make it softer, you see, that's just enough, and then add the cheek bone the jawline, so I mess everything up, I mix everything up. <laughs> Just to make it a little bit less sharp. Then I always like to have, besides me, a towel so you can wipe off a bit from your brush, so it's semi-clear. And then we go in with the normal color foundation, in my case. So I grab my face finity, I put some on my hand, I tap a bit on my brush and first you go in on the forehead and just tap the color a bit in. Then you have more on your brush so I like to put it immediately on the empty spots that you have left. And then we go to blend this out, of course. So we tap it like a beauty blender. And it's not a problem if you go over the first colors. So it's just a mix of drag with the belly, drag with the top of the brush, and tap with the belly. So you just want to paint your face up and color it in. And I do recommend to wipe it over the light spots on your eyes to make it a little bit extra blended. Because you can see the difference. If you didn't, then you have wang, white eyes, you know? So that's not what we want. So just try to tap it in while it's getting dry. So I like to grab a little bit extra foundation, not too much, but just a bit to fill up little gaps. So done, we are already. Then of course I would like to give myself a bit of blush. Herefore, we're going to grab a cut-off brush and some blush, of course, and put it on a cheekbone, just around the outer corner of your eye, there, and work it up, and just blend a bit out. And of course, 
Last but not least, I really like to give myself a bit extra glow. Herefore, I will use my Van brush. I put some highlighter on it and I work it just above the blush. Like there. And not more. Normally I will do on my nose and just like here a bit, but just this is enough. It's summer and you are glow glowy enough. I think. So you just want to wait until this is dry a bit and not hit your nose with your, with your mirror. So I will do my eyes and I'll be right back. And here we have it, the final look. So don't forget it's summer, you do not want to have too much on the face every day. So I thought it's important not to powder it off. Just go away from the powder. Don't use setting powder, because if you use setting powder over this, you will make an extra layer. And we just um, kept it this time in one layer, because we just did first the, the lightest one, then the darkest one, and then we put over it the foundation. We blend all the colors in, so that's the reason it's just one layer. And that's also the reason that it looks more natural. So we are glowing more in the summer. We are, don't need a lot of layers in the summer. So don't use a setting powder, but just use your favorite setting spray if your makeup is dry. So I recommend to wait a minute or 10 to wait until your finished look is dry. And then you will go in with some setting spray in my case, I don't use a hairspray today. No, no, I will use my Prime and Fix spray for sensitive skin from Catrice. And I will go in and spray and you're done. So just a little lipstick on the lips to make it a finished look. So when I look in the mirror, I also see some spots in my face coming through the foundation and the concealers because this is just one layer and so you will look more natural than normally I will be full covered with foundation and primer and powder and stuff. So if you like a more natural look, just keep it this way. I love making this video again and um, just in short time I just had a really rough time. It's work related and um, I don't want to talk about it very long but I just had so much stress that I really need to take step, a step back so I did that and that's the reason I did not make a video for a few weeks. So I'm back in business, I'm stretching myself up and I'm going to be fine and I'm going to see you next week. Bye!